Hi guys, um, welcome to the eighth video about scene management and building your projects. So in this video, we're going to investigate how can we navigate different through different scenes in our project, and then how do we actually build and package our project to distribute it in this case on the web. We'll start by looking at the scene manager class um, and the namespace and what it allows us to do, and then we'll see how uh, using build settings we can um, basically export our project. To different platform, we'll use the particular WebGL platform, which then will allow us to upload it to uh, a website called edge.io, edge um, on which we can distribute and play Unity games. So let's start with our Unity Hub, create our new project with day eight. Let's call it building. So here we are in our scene. Um, in our unit project, and each unit project also always comes with one uh, scene called a sample scene. And a scene is the, basically a collection of game objects um, that are set up in a particular way. And the reason we might want to have um, several scenes is, for instance, if we have a main menu or an intro menu, and then the first level, second level, third level, or first room, second room, third room. Um, let's see how we create a new scene. We go to file. New scene, and it creates this thing here, untitled. If I add an object in there, let's say I add a sphere, and then I save it, it's going to ask me to um, save it as a name, and I'm going to get, call it a scene and save. And see here, it created a new file with a Unity logo, which is a Unity scene. I'm going to drag and drop it into my scenes folder. And now I have two of them. I have the main scene and I have the sample scene. If I click on sample scene, it opens here on the top left, the sample scene. I'm going to put a cube in there so we can see the difference. And if I click back on main scene, it opens up the sphere. So let's see now how during um, uh, the playing of our game, the playing of our app, we can switch from one scene to another. To do that, we're going to start on the sample scene, and then we want to go to the main scene. We'll start by having a button we can click, and that button is going to um, bring us to the next scene. Let's start with a UI. I'm going to create a button. Along with the button, it creates an event system and a canvas. Um, and on the canvas object, I'm going to create a script. Let's say the UI manager. Um, and this script is the script that's going to load the next scene. I open it, and the first thing that we need to know, to know is that scene management is kind of um, the same thing as dealing with uh, UI in Unity, which is um, adding namespaces. So we need to add a new namespace called Unity Engine Management. And now that we have that, we can, uh, we can use these particular things, uh, or these functions. So I'm going to create a new function, public void change scene, and it's going to say scene manager load scene, and our scene is called main scene. So the script part is done. The thing is, Unity doesn't exactly know what main scene is. To do that, we need to add all of our scenes into our build settings. We go to File, Build Settings, and here it says Scenes and Build. And this whole scene manager functionality, the load scene, unload scene, and so on, and so on, are only going to work with scenes that are in the build. And we see that right now there are no scenes in the build. So I'm going to double click on the Scenes folder. I'm going to select the main scene, put it here. I'm going to select the sample scene. I'm going to put it there. One thing to note is that whenever we click Play, Whenever we build and then Unity starts the, the application, it's going to start with scene number zero. And right now, scene number zero is the main scene. But we want it to be sample scene because we want to go to the main scene. So I'm going to drag the sample scene and put it up there so that sample scene is scene number zero. Now we love the scene main scene. Unity is going to know what is going, uh, what is going on and what is main scene. 
I'm gonna connect my button to the canvas game object. So on click, find the canvas, find the UI manager, and go to change scene. I click play. And now if I click on my button, it loads the new scene and it gets to main scene. Another way to do that is not to give it uh, names, but to give it numbers. So if I say load scene one, um, and I go back to my build settings, we'll notice that scene one is here on the right hand side. That's equivalent to main scene. But we can also use numbers such as load scene, scene one, in order to load, to have the same behavior and to load the scene. Great, so now we know how to navigate between scenes. Let's see how we can upload this project, build the, uh, export this project, the technical term is building, um, to, the, to the web so that we can distribute it around. So we're gonna go back to our build settings. And so our build settings were a couple of things here. There are the scenes that we talked about already, um, and then there's the platform, and then there are player settings. These are the most important ones. Um, by default, when you start a Unity project, the platform is always going to be desktop. So you're building for whatever your, your machine is. If you're on Windows, you're going to like create a Windows.exe. If you're on Mac, you're going to create a Mac.app, and so on and so forth. Um, the Unity logo you see here means that right now the project is configured for this platform. And we want to do WebGL. WebGL is a way to do um, interactive graphics, very efficient interactive graphics on the web. So I'm going to click on WebGL and before I can actually click build I need to switch the platform. So I'm going to click switch platform and it's going to start converting all of our assets so that it fits the, the new project configuration. Once this is done I'm going to take a look at the player settings. Just so you know, we won't have to change anything here, but the player settings are all of the different settings that um, are going to affect your, um, your final export, your final build. And particularly in publishing settings and other settings, this is where um, if we have issues, we'll have to look into, um, into those kind of settings here. Right now, I'm gonna leave them all um, as it is, um, compressed as gzip, data cached, and nothing else. I'm going to close this and I'm going to click build. And now it asks me to save it as something. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to call it as um, day eight build. And what this does is that it's going to create a um, folder with all of our um, assets inside. Okay, so we finished compiling and then we see that we have a new folder um, called day 8 build, which is the name that I gave in the save as um, dialog box. And inside we have an index.html and then a build folder and a template data folder. So we could host this on our own, but we could also use a service that does it for us, which is called itch.io. I'm going to go to itch and I'm going to create a new project. I'm already logged in with my account. I'm going to say title, Unity test, and blah, 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 what kind of project it is. It's an HTML project. Uh, what kind of status is it? It's a prototype, and uploads. And when um, itch asks you to upload it, it says upload a zip file. So I'm going to go back to the Explorer, and I'm going to click Compress. It creates a zip file, and then go upload the files, go on my desktop, find the zip file. And as it uploads, let's go through some of the other options. We don't need much here. These are all pretty um, uh, self-explanatory, and um, I've added on the class wiki a link to uh, getting started with HIO. Okay, now that our upload is done, we see our file is here, and we set it as an executable, because it's an application, and then we take this file we played in the browser. 
go all the way down, click Save. And now it's going to show us our sort of public page. This is unlisted. You would need to uh, have a special link to share it with someone because it's a draft version. But this is how it looks. You click Run Game. And now we see our game, our um, simple scene with our cube. We click the button and we go to the next scene with our sphere. Not very impressive, but it shows you the proof of concept of uh, building a game onto HIO. And this is what we've done. We've uploaded it. We've looked into a little bit of the build settings, specifically for uploading to Web for building to WebGL. Um, and the object, the project that we've built is a project with Scene Manager, which uh, displays how do you load scene, how do you move from one scene to another, say like an intro scene to a main scene, or a main scene to like a high score or a conclusion or credits. And that concludes our scene management and building.